You guys ever look at the sky and think how cool that looks? Like, oh, the sunrise or the sunset, I mean. Looks like kind of orangish, you know. You can't tell me that. That don't look cool, bro. That's like directly from God right there. That's not human right there. I know this is very random, but one of my favorite things to do every morning is just watch the Premier League. Like, my favorite team isn't even in the Premier League, but I love watching it, you know? It's Sheffield United versus Brian, and I'm entertained, bro. So you're a fan of soccer slash football, bro? Hey, I also like that, too. So that's a thing we got in common for those who watch that. I want to thank you guys for 1K subscribers. I know the video began random, but I want to try to add more personality to the videos. I don't want it to just be me turning on the camera and me talking. I want it to be more like, Maybe one day I show you, you know, how far I'm in my Quran or whatever or some something like that. I don't want it to just be stale, boring YouTuber who's like, hey, today, guys, we're going to be talking about the new, um, I don't know, Andrew Tate drama. I, I don't know. I can't think of anything right now. But I want to thank everyone for 1K. Also, it's cold in here. Bro. Why did I turn on the fan? It's cold in here, bro. I can't handle the cold. It's barely like 50 degrees. Actually, no, it's probably only 60 degrees. I cannot handle the cold, bro. I'm from Texas. Over here, it's hot. All right, and look, I'm wearing a hoodie. I'm wearing pants right now. Like, that's how, I mean, I've, have, I've been wearing pants. I always like wearing pants, but, you know. Actually, you know, when I was a kid, I used to love wearing shorts. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Personalities change, whatever. Turn off the fan! It's too cold! Okay. But um, I want to thank everyone for 1K subscribers. Man, it means a lot. 1,000 subscribers. Uh, it's happened really fast. I think just two weeks ago, I was, like, at 300 subscribers, and... This is all thanks to you guys. This is not me. This is not my own doing. This is all you guys. So I want to thank every one of you. Um, I also did a poll to check like how what percentage of my viewers are Muslims, Christians, atheists, whatever. First of all, I just want to say you're welcome to here. Any like any group of people, you're welcome to here. The only ones that aren't welcome here are Satanists. Other than that, you're welcome here. Even if you're atheist, even if you're Christian, especially if you're Christian, because I think Christians and Muslims, we gotta form an alliance, bro. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of, I don't know, I actually have no idea what I can, it's, it's kind of like when you see, I don't know, the French national team, right? <laughs> you got whites and you got blacks coming in together and teaming. I know it's a completely different thing because that's race and this is religion, you know, but like, we gotta we got, we got make an alliance, bro. But I think it was 70, I, I got a, over 100 votes. I think over a hundred of them, or no, I think like over 70% of them were Muslim, which is based because I'm Muslim too, so it's good to have a big community. Then there was like 20% Christian or 20 something ish percent Christian. And um, I was surprised by this, but 4% were atheists. And I was so surprised. I'm like, what the heck is an atheist doing? I'm like, like, I don't know how I appeal to atheists, honestly. Like, because my content, especially the last two weeks, has literally been, been me just talking about God. But anyways, let me let me refrain from that. I want to thank you guys for getting me to 1,000 subscribers. It truly means a lot. It's it's a moment that, like, it's hard to explain. But if you've known my history, like, I had I had a new subscriber of me, like, DM me privately. So on my banner, it says, Dundo established in 2020 but it says this channel was created in 2022. That's because I had an old channel. Um, I talk about it every once in a while, but my old channel was called, well, it's now called Dundo Archives. I link it there, but I do not recommend you guys watch the videos because I guarantee you, most of y'all, if y'all watch my old videos, bro, y'all would hate me because I was a different person. I was secular, I was promoting sin. I was very arrogant. I was very egotistical. I, I was also much fatter. Believe it or not, I know I'm a big guy right now, but I was much bigger right now. Like, my chin was all the way down here, but obviously not down, down there. It was, like, more, like, right here. I was more insufferable, more annoying, and honestly, for those people who have been watching me since then, bro, I don't know how y'all do it, but y'all deserve a pat on the back, you know? Especially the CJH and Supervise. They're the two YouTubers who have been here for a long time, and there's obviously more people, but they're the two YouTubers that really stuck up for me when no one else was. Because for those who don't know, the reason why I had to give up that channel was because I found God in October and I began just wanting to talk about God. And I remember I felt so bad. Like when I found God, one of the first things I realized was how much I severely messed up doing that YouTube channel. I got over 2000 subscribers. I was monetized at one point. I won't lie to you. I made a decent money on YouTube. All right. I used to in that channel. I used to make decent amount of money. And a lot of that channel was me supporting sin 
Like if you go to some of my most popular videos, it's also it's always me supporting the LGBT stuff in movies. And I do regret that a lot because it's sin. It's blame sin. And I was promoting it. You know, I feel bad that that channel even exists, but I'm not even going to lie to you. I think I forgot the password to that channel. So <laughs> uh, that was a, one of the dumbest things I did. I think I forgot to log out or no, I logged out of it and I forgot the password. So now I can't even privatize the videos or unlist them. Like they just kind of exist there in the void, you know, but it's all right. We got this new channel. We're all up and running, but when I made that channel, you know, it was movie talk for since 2020. I began it around the time the pandemic was happening. And I remember I was at home. I was still in high school. I got bored and I decided just to talk about movies because I, before I did YouTube, I did mood reviews on my Snapchat. People were telling me, hey, you should do more in depth reviews because people like my mood reviews. I used to be a big movie guy. That's why if you see my bedroom, a lot of times there's posters everywhere of Infinity War, Batman. And now I'm not into that kind of stuff that much, but it is a part of me growing up. Like, I still like movies. I just don't have that love for them that I used to. Like, it's kind of like more just kind of like a childhood thing, you know. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it's, um, you know, I made the channel. Then eventually, I think in summer of 2023, I decided to go into the commentary route. Eventually rebranded to Dundo. This channel used to just be the second extra channel that I used to have that I really upload on. I used to upload vlogs on it. That was about it. And then back in October, when I found God, I felt compelled to make a video establishing my beliefs because I had changed significantly. Like my stances on so many things changed that I made a whole video and I lost nearly a hundred subscribers. I had a lot of YouTuber friends that I had at the time that were disavowing me. They were messaging me privately saying that they don't want anything to do with me because they thought I was bigoted. They thought I was homophobic. They thought I was all these phobias, whatever sexist everything and i won't lie to you in october that was the worst month of my youtube life because it was almost like i spent three years building that channel only to get then get it demolished and i i won't lie to you like i was i was pretty sad like i was pretty devastated i, I literally considered quitting youtube but i said ultimately nah i'm gonna keep going but i'm gonna do it the right way this time and so i used that second channel which at the time had a little over 100 subscribers i was only posting vlogs there and I said, I'm going to upload here, but I'm going to make sure, to, well, at the time, to keep it Christian. Nowadays, we keep it halal. We make sure over here we don't curse. We don't promote any type of haram, whether it's fornication, drinking, gambling, pork, promiscuity from men and women, um, anything like that. We're not going to promote it here. I want to make sure that if someone here is Muslim or Christian or whatever, that they're able to come here and realize, oh, this is a family-friendly guy. I don't have to work. Like, especially if, like, you're a kid. Like, like and I don't want to say this, this, but my channel used to, my intro for the channel, you guys have seen the intro, like it began here, the Better Call Saul song, you see me putting a disc on the PlayStation, it says Dundo on it, I actually, that's actually a movie there, I literally wrote Dundo on it just for the intro aesthetic, but it used to be the, the corn hub intro, but it said Dundo on it, that's how, that's how messed up I used to be, I used to be very, like I used to make a lot of wicked jokes, I've been trying to move away from that, um, you know, but on this channel, what I want it to be is like if a kid happens to stumble upon it, I want them to know that it's halal. And if they happen to, because you never know, here's the, the dangerous thing about the internet is that you're going to become someone that people are going to look up to, someone who people aspire to be, even if you don't want to. You know, like internet influencers, like unfortunately, they have a level of authority that not even parents have. You know, there's kids who look up to iShow Speed and I believe it's our duty. And I know I'm not a big YouTuber, but just in case that ever happens, I want to make sure that I'm at least a good enough inspiration to where if a kid comes here, he's like, oh, this guy doesn't have to curse. This guy doesn't have to gamble. This guy doesn't have to put a big boob girl on stream. Like, no, it's just we keep it halal. We talk about things and we have fun along the way. You know, we, we keep it halal. That's the number one thing. I don't care what it is that people want me to do for views. We keep it halal. You know, that's what I want my, what, what I wanted my channel to be. And now we're at 1,000 subscribers, man. <laughs> we're at 1,000 subscribers. And I, and what I love is that when I first gained my first 1,000 subscribers on my old channel, it was kind of like, I did it on my own. I got my own subscribers, what, yada, yada, yada. Now it feels like I got the 1,000 subscribers, but it was thanks to God's guidance. You know, because there were times where I wanted to upload different kind of content where I was cursing, where I was, because there was a time where I think my channel was stale. And I was just kind of doing the only commentary. And I remember 
just thinking for a bit, for a bit, I was like, man, I should go back to cursing because it makes the videos look cooler. Maybe I should put a big boot girl in every of my thumbnail. But, you know, the Holy Spirit was talking to me. It was like, nah, bro, don't do that. That's not what you need to do. What you need to do is you need to spread the message of God. You know, you need to spread his message. And eventually the viewers were coming. I really think that that became true because out of nowhere, I got a thousand subscribers. Like, I, this isn't me. This is God, not me. You know, I'll praise to the most high. You know, he is, in, he is the one who said, Isaac, I want you to keep things halal. I want you to get halal viewers, create a halal audience, and eventually you'll get it. But you got to keep stay on the right path. And that's how God works. You know, and some of y'all who aren't religious at all are going to come here and say, that's cringe, you know, whatever. I, I, I'm, all I'm saying is that God gave me this. I didn't do this. God gave me this, you know, and God gave me a fortunate enough that, that he allowed me to talk to a lot of other Muslims out there, a lot of other people who are in the same spiritual journey that I am in. And, uh, and it's been amazing. So I thank you guys for 1K subscribers. It means a lot. And it feels nice that I don't, it feels weird how different October was to now. Because in October, I truly felt bad. Like, I was like, man, no one likes me. Um, I felt, it felt like, you know, what's the point of continuing YouTube? And now I'm here and I have a community of, of like-minded individuals who, who we all believe in the same thing. We believe in the one creator. We believe in the one God, you know, and it, it's, it's just been amazing. God works in mysterious ways. God is the best of planners, bro. It's been amazing, and all I can hope that people inspire is, is to follow God. That's all I want to do. I don't care if it ever makes me money. I don't care if it ever gets me views, because obviously 1,000 subscribers is nothing. Like, compared to, like, actual big YouTubers, like, it's nothing. But to me, it's it's a major leap forward. This Even if I was, like, if, if let's say God kept me at 1,000 subscribers, I'd be satisfied, because we have an amazing community. I've met amazing individuals here. And I'm just thankful because I never expected it to reach 1,000 subscribers. So I want to, I want to thank you guys. But most importantly, I want to thank the Most High for it all. You know, Allah works in mysterious ways. Best planner, everything. And I thank you guys. And now for the future of this channel, we're just gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it going steady. Um, I want to eventually improve things. Uh, obviously, though, I have said before that I do not. I'm not in the best financial condition. So that's why all my videos are done through my phone. <laughs> I literally, I literally just use CapCut and I just quickly edit the videos and then upload them. But hey, look, you gotta do what, what you gotta do. You know, there's a lot of people out there in the world who wanna do YouTube, but they don't even own a phone or they don't have mobile data or whatever. And God has blessed me enough to give me a good enough phone to where I can record my videos, a good enough data to where I can upload them. I thank God. And, God gave me this audience, so I can't complain, bro. I can't complain, but we are going to strive to to improve the content every day, strive to give you guys quality content. Most most importantly, I know I keep repeating this, but we're going to keep the content halal no matter what. All right. So thank you guys so much for 1K subscribers. It means a lot, and it just feels good that I can now show people that you can make a halal channel. You can make a, a family-friendly channel and and not and 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 get views or get subscribers i think that's that's the best takeaway i can take from this new era is i'll say this right now even when my community was thriving on my old channel this community is significantly better it is significantly better like the mods here are better the viewers here are better the people i interact with on discord are better and what i like most about it is that we we are keeping it with within the god like in the in the bound boundaries that god wants us to be you know because when i was doing my old channel it literally felt like i had to make this inappropriate wicked joke every five seconds um i had to curse all the time i had to promote some type of sin you know and i'm just glad that i moved on from that era although i am going to try to find my password because i do want to privatize a lot of those videos because I don't want someone because I know people still stumble across those videos because those videos I had a couple of videos that did do really well back then some videos I went viral you know <laughs> and I don't want someone to sin because they saw an old video of mine 
You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it is what it is. And what I think the worst part is that when you search up Dundo on YouTube, both of those channels pop out. So it's not like I can do anything about it. But uh, eh, it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's all I gotta say. And much love to you guys. You know, Allah Akbar. And if you're Christian, read your Bible. If you're Muslim, read your Quran. Really, if you're both, you should try to reach read each other's books. But it just means a lot. Ah, look, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for being the best family on YouTube, my buds and sisters. All right, y'all. We're the Dundo family. Keeps growing, bro. And it's all thanks to you. But most importantly, it's all thanks to the one true God. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you on the next one.